Want to refresh your look? Take a trip to the nearest nail or hair salon, a wash and cut, or the perfect new polish. But does the person working on you really know what they're doing? Have you ever wondered if you're dipping your feet into a relaxing soak or a cesspool? She had a lot of friends. She embraced everybody. Two years ago, 70-year-old Linda went in for a pedicure in southern Missouri and left with a horrific infection. We know that they had nicked her, and we think it was unsanitary uh, tools, and she just couldn't fight off the infection. Her son Bobby says after numerous surgeries... Over a two-year period, it just slowly took her life. I think that it is a real mistake for people to say what's the worst that can happen. Leslie Rosti is an RN and expert on the dangers of cosmetology services. She says when a person isn't properly trained, the worst can and does happen, from infections to chemical burns, rashes, and even ringworm. <gasps> That's frightening. Oh my God. We showed pictures of what can happen to women. Ooh, that's terrible. Oh my God. Who say it makes them think twice about who's working on them. I never asked, can I see your license? Are you legitimate? You know, I never have. Each state has a duty, Rosti says, to make sure everyone who does this work has a license and has been through all the right classes. I do think it's the state's responsibility when it comes to health and public safety. That's why she and others were shocked to learn about what some say is a huge oversight in Jefferson City. Officials handed out licenses to dozens and dozens of people who never should have had them in the first place. The workers forged documents saying they were licensed in other states. So Missouri rubber stamped their applications here. Only recently did officials really start checking. Some people working for years before the state figured out they never had legit licenses. I don't see how a lot of times things like this can fall through the cracks. Stephen Quick at the Grabber Beauty School in St. Louis says an oversight like that hurts everyone. Here somebody just waltzes up here and just goes around the system and gets a license and they didn't have to pay nothing. It's not fair. It's really not fair. Cosmetology students, too, are frustrated. It kind of pees you off, you know, to see other people come in or they're getting away with doing these things and not being licensed. We wanted to talk to Missouri officials about how so many fake applications got processed. In a statement, they say they couldn't talk to us by law because this is an ongoing investigation and continuing to evolve. The state inspects salons, they say, at least once a year for things like proper licenses. But we wanted to know what you can do if you're concerned your technician isn't trained. It is your right to ask questions. It's your right to get a good and a safe service. It might be easier said than done. When I went undercover for a manicure at a South City shop, I asked a number of questions about how the tools were cleaned and about her license. The manicurist said I sounded like a state inspector. After a search of the state's website for licensees, hers appeared to be in order. Still, all experts say if something doesn't seem right, simply say something or leave. Your own health could be on the line. It's not a matter of, you know, somebody getting a bad paint job on their toes. It's a matter of life and death. The state says they are still investigating, so we don't know if this was some coordinated effort to forge the license applications. Officials say they are doing things differently now, doing more to verify if the person is legit. If you want to know if your tech has a proper license, we've got a link for you on KMOV.com. For News 4 Investigates, I'm Lauren Traeger.